Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chika and this is Mom's Niche Diary. I am a Nigerian YouTuber based in Abuja, Nigeria and on my channel I share content that would inspire you to live intentionally and to enjoy every phase of your life so if these are the kind of content you like then please join my family by subscribing turn on your bell notification so you get notified whenever i post a new video i'd love to have you here so today we're going to be talking about factors that you should consider when choosing a school for your child so this is kind of content you like then please stay tuned and keep on watching my glasses are in what do you think of my frame now if you don't know what i'm talking about please go and watch my previous video where i went to see an optician so my frames are in I really love it, honestly. Okay, today we're going to be talking about the factors that you should consider when choosing a school for your child. Now, the truth is that the schools that we choose for our children plays a major role in their life, honestly, like a very big role in their life. So it's not something that should be done carelessly. I believe it's something that should be prayerfully and consciously done because it's going to impact in their life in so many ways. Now, the first factor for me would be the value factor. Now, as a family, we all have our values and our morals. So for me, I would say when choosing a school, you should be very conscious of the values that they have in the school. You wouldn't want to change the the foundation that you're already building for your kids, okay? So you need to consider the values in the school. Now, this can be done by knowing the mission and vision statement of the school and even more personally, by talking to the owner of the school or the school proprietress to get a deeper understanding of the school and how they operate and their values, their morals. Like when you finish talking to them, you have a better understanding. The second thing I'm going to talk about will be knowing your budget. Now, like I always say, every family is different and so is our budget. Every family is different and every budget is different. So you need to understand your family budget. Now, this would help you to streamline the schools that you would be searching for. Okay, so if you know how much you have, you know the kind of school you're going to be looking out for. When searching for schools, you don't want to go take a school that you won't be able to meet up financially or a school that will be stressing your whole family. So you need to understand that the thing with school is that we pay three terms in Nigeria. That's first term, second term, and third term. So you don't want to take a school where you pay first term and you cannot pay second term. So you need to be able to consider your pocket. If you have more than one child, you also need to consider all of these factors. Because, for instance, I have three kids and I'll be paying for three children. So you have to choose a school that would be pocket friendly to your family. Now, the next thing I'm going to say would be the location of the school. This is based on where you live and also based on where you work. So who is going to be dropping the children off in school? Are you going to be using school bus? You need to understand and sort out this factor of location because you wouldn't want a school that will be so far that you have to do Jackie Chan in the morning and jump traffic and, you know, and get all stressed up before you take them to school or a school. Maybe there's an emergency, for instance, like something is going on and then how do you pick your kids? So you need to consider these factors. If you're going to be using the school bus, you need to check, okay, so what time do the school bus come? As in how good are the buses? You need to consider all these factors. You need to have the number of the driver, the number of the bus assistant. You know, there's a lot you need to consider when choosing the location of the school. So if you've gotten this sorted out, I'll say the next thing would be 
to go to the school. I know a lot of times we love referrals. We love people to refer us to a school, but I would say go to the school yourself. Yes, you need to see things for yourself. You need to see the environment. You need to speak to the teachers. You need to be able to speak to, if not the teachers, at least the admin, the school proprietors. There will be someone there that will be able to listen to you. Okay, so you need to consider the environment. For me personally, I don't like schools that are so close to the express way, as in, I don't like schools that are so close to the express road. Personally, I just feel like for the kids, like it's not so safe. I don't know. I don't really like it personally. So you need to know your own pros and cons, things that maybe will put you off. That's why I said you need to go to the school. Now, when going to the school, you also check out the, the environment. How clean is the environment? Is it child friendly? There are some schools that are not child friendly. That's one of the things I don't like about schools that like, are on the road like i feel like something can just bump into the school nothing will ever bump into the school in jesus name but i just feel like it's not so safe for kids it's probably when they have to cross the road and all of that logistics so you need to go to the school look at the environment also how many teachers do they have in a class this is a very serious one for me especially for early years because one teacher cannot even two you need to have like a teacher a class assistant and then maybe a nanny especially for the early years for those little kids because you cannot control all of them at the same time so i feel like they should have more than one teacher then i'm also going to find out like how many students do they have in a class because we need to know the capacity for the child for the teacher to be able to handle all of them like how many students are going to be in a class another important factor is to check out the school academic um work like what is their school curriculum like what are they doing is it class ahead or do they do as in you need to find out is it british curriculum is it um there are so many of them okay so you need to be able to find out what curriculum they use and how they operate because this is going to help you and also help your child because you have to have an understanding of what the school academics is all about if you've enjoyed my tips so far please give this video a thumbs up a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel it's free and it goes a long way to help my channel so let me know your own factors that you consider before choosing a school for your child so thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you again in my next video until then stay fabulous and stay blessed love you and god bless you